Little update on the 86. Uh, for those of you who don't follow me on Instagram, I got the engine out uh, last weekend Sunday. Gonna plan on going through that. Check out all the internals, see what it needs. Uh, maybe do an overbore if, the, if it's all tore up, but planning on at the very least putting new plugs in it and all new gaskets uh, and doing the uh, Petros method for the head gasket modification for a lot more, for some more cooling. Cooling, bah, words. Uh, gonna pressure wash inside this engine bay here pretty soon and get it all cleaned up But unfortunately, it's a little bit chilly and windy today. So I might hold that off till next weekend Underneath the battery tray. It looks like there was some rust that might have formed at one point in time that Someone had fixed so I may attempt to make that a little bit better, but first things first is I'm gonna get all the grease cleaned out of here Contemplating doing a Weber carburetor just to get rid of all these vacuum lines and emission systems junk uh, I like the Weber with my Tercel because it's super, super simple to tune, and but it doesn't really care for winter starting as well, so I don't know. We'll see what happens. Uh, got another door handle on it from the 83, so now I can finally lock and unlock my door, which is super nice. Um, got a bunch of interior fasteners and stuff like that reattached. Replaced the driver's side window regulator. Uh, obviously got the seats all pressure washed up and cleaned, and they look world better. Um, that driver's seat's from Alex's 83. Uh, I'll put a link to his YouTube in channel in the description, but uh, he's too many Toyotas on YouTube. Uh, got the dashboard cleaned up a little bit. I'm going to try to get it a little bit cleaner soon here. Uh, let's see what else have I done. Uh, cleaned up the carpet a little bit more. Um, haven't really done anything else super crazy, I don't think. Uh, could I get some? I got some door panels right now off the Alex's. I'm gonna put on there. I got connections to some in Pennsylvania that I might run out and get, and possibly a transmission as well. So I may pull those and get those because these are all beat up. Alex has some uh, just plain Jane with no pattern on it, but they're the same style. So I may yank them all off and pressure wash them and try to take the best of all the door panels and combine them into a decent set of door panels. Still need a driver side lock. Uh, need a rear bumper too. Unfortunately, the rear bumper is a little bit beat up rusted out underneath too. I painted out this uh, trim uh, piece. It's covered in dust because it's super windy today, but I painted the uh, wiper blade arms. So those are looking a little bit nicer. Put a Lemons Rally sticker on it too, just to jinx it for fun. But yeah, that's how she's looking right now. Uh, still got a long, long ways to go. Probably won't make a ton of the progress mechanically until post uh, Lemons Rally with that one because I'm going to Colorado this summer with uh, the 85, which is Spud. So I gotta do the uh, MR2 brake conversion yet. I got all the parts for it on order. Uh, and most of it I already have, like the booster and the master cylinder and the calipers and everything like that. So I'm waiting on part, brake parts for the rear so I can go through the back end of this thing and have only brakes front and rear with vetted rotors. So that'll be super nice. And yeah, that's really the only update I have. So thanks for watching guys.